everyone. So today I have a very special guest with me, my husband, Mohammed. I think being patient is quite important. Uh, it, will, it will really test your, your marriage in an early, early stage. And we're going to be talking about something that we went through together at the start of our marriage. It's down to both of you to, to make it work. Because if you, you know, this is probably one of the biggest issues you will face as a couple. So my next question, and this so many is, questions. Relax. Okay. Massive, massive. Hi everyone, so today I have a very special guest with me, my husband, Mohammed. This is probably one of the biggest issues you will face as a couple. I thought it would be really interesting for you all to hear how it is for a man, how, like his experience of being married to someone who has vaginismus. Um, if you can overcome this um, and support one another, which is quite important, it's easy to overcome anything. Don't force it, don't rush it, don't pressure your wife into it. Of course, you overcome it, you just look better. Look better, better, so you know. So I really just overcome this. So, my next question. And this so many is questions. An important question. Hi, everyone. So, today I have a very special guest with me, my husband, Mohammed. How did you feel uh, at that moment when we were finally able to have penetrative sex? And there was no pain. I went through a condition called vaginal smear. I wasn't. I wasn't telling you to stop. Yeah. I wasn't telling you it's too painful. I wasn't saying those things. I thought it would be really interesting for you all to hear how it is for a man, how, like his experience of being married to someone who has vaginal smear. I was relaxed. Okay. I was Ma easy. Massive, massive. 